everybody. Oh, we're a couple of minutes late starting today. I'm trying to be a little bit technical today because we've had a week off, so I've been doing lots of other things. And uh, it's just taken me a little bit of time to regroup. And I know that some of you have got a craft pack for the very first time this week, which I'm really, really excited about. And um, hopefully you've got your booklet and you can see the star of the show today is on the front cover of our book. And that is Polly. This is Polly. Let me introduce you to Polly. Here she is, look. And this is what we're making this week. We are going to make a person out of junk boxes. So can you see Polly? There she is, look. I've got two tubular boxes for her legs, a box of cereal for her body, two cardboard tubes for her arm, a plastic box for her head. And can you see what I used to make the eyes? Can you see them looking at you? There are the tops of milk containers and a glue stick lid. And there is her mouth. And look, she can use it to blow kisses. Can you see? Her mouth is closed and then it goes, Aah! and there's her hat like a little crown. And here's her hair. Now her hair needs a little bit of curling. Let me show you how to do that. Can you see? Let me have a little look. If you get a pencil and you wrap the paper around it some people do this with their hair every day i don't but look at that <coughs> you can curl her hair so that is polly but today i'm going to make a friend for polly now funny bunny loves making friends and you can make a friend as well so i went looking in my house for boxes and can you believe it classically i have just put them all outside in my recycling box i love doing that getting that feeling of clearing my house <clears throat> so the choice was pretty um slim for what i was going to use to make this today um, but I'm going to show you what I found. So I found some cardboard tubes, of course. We all know where they come from. I found, ooh, I love a box of Maltesers. I found that. I found some netting. I found, <coughs> sorry, I was just having to polish off the rest of this box which I'm not actually going to use today, but we will be using one of these next week. You all know that I love this box and I use it in lots of things. And next week's craft will be using a box, a tall box. It doesn't have to be this one, but it can be something similar. That's what you'll need next week. Um, but I went gathering, oh, and I found this box as well, which I have actually already started preparing. I've done it a little bit differently this time. But I wonder if you want to join with me on making our um, new friend. So I'm going to put the screen down and I'm going to say, morning, Linda. I was wondering if anybody was going to be watching today. I know everybody, a lot of people have been on holiday this week. I have had a great week just chilling out. I've had meetings every day. I seem to have been doing things every day. But it's just been really nice just not to have to do everything else as well and i hope those of you with children who are at home that you manage to do something different and i'm meeting a friend to go for a lovely long walk this afternoon but in the meantime let's have a go at making our friends so i'm going to put the screen down and you're going to have a little bit of laughter here so i got this box and i thought that would be really good to make the body and I know, I know that we've given you a glue stick, but a bit of sellotape can't go wrong. Now, you can buy little things like this. Do you know, I bought this pack. It had a sellotape thing like this. It had a glue stick. It had a couple of other things for like 60p in a bargain bin somewhere. But there's so many bargains. And picking up little things like this when you see it in the Poundland or Wilco or Asda or Waitrose, wherever you do your shopping, 
you know, it's really good to have these things set by. So I'm going to make my little person and I'm going to be using sellotape. I've also got my glue sticks. But here, look, I'm going to stick on the arms here. Can you see? Oh, dear. I didn't put that on very well. So I think it's a good idea. And again, this is something you will do with your child. I think it would be very, very hard to expect a toddler to do this without any help. But, you know, you can have lots of fun gathering the boxes with your children and talking about the shapes. That's our theme for this coming week is all shapes. So look, there's one arm and here is another arm. Oh, this is really hard to demonstrate on a camera. Um, but anyhow, I'm having a go. Can you see the arms going on? It doesn't matter where they are as long as they're roughly in the right direction. And again, with children's drawings, I love watching children's drawings. So look, there's the arms. We'll put the legs on in a minute. But as I said, this is the box I'm using for the head. And I mean, some of it was already cut in this place. And look, I've actually made the face. I got my Maltese box and I cut out the smile. I used my googly eyes and I used some silver wrapping of some seeds that my daughter had. So that's the head. And look, I had a bit of fun with these clips. Um, they're either, you, you could say they're either earrings or they are the ears, but I was just having a little bit of fun with that. And I found some brilliant hair. And I think that's a fantastic colour, isn't it? Because some of our families have children and adults with ginger hair. And I think that's really good. So we're going to put some ginger hair on our little character. So as you watch me make this, maybe you're thinking of a name for our character. I wonder who they're going to be. Let's have a little look. Sometimes when people are expecting a baby, they have the name months in advance, even before the baby's born. But others wait for the baby to be born to see who the baby looks like. And then they choose the name. I don't know how you chose the name for your children, um, but I'm wondering what the name of this character is going to be. So look, there's the body. Can you see it? And I'm going to stick it on. And I think for this, I am going to put some glue on there. Can you see? I've got a new laptop and the picture's not quite as good, is it, as my old laptop? Oh, look at that. That looks quite cute, doesn't it? So, so look, there is the person's head. There's their bodies. Now I've got to do their feet. So I'm going to stick the legs on with the sellotape. Um, like I did before. Oh my gosh, this this is complicated. Right, let's have a go. Oh, there's one. We're nearly there. We're nearly there. Um, and we've got so many songs to sing. That's what was taking my time a bit today, because we've got a new song that we're learning. And on Monday, if you want, you could join up Gertie. Oh, that's an interesting name, Linda. Why Gertie? Is Gertie a boy or a girl? I can't think. It could be both, I guess. It's a very old-fashioned name, is Gertie. But hey, you know, if there's no other choices, it'll have to be Gertie. So look. Oh, their head's dropped off. Oh, my gosh. So oh, now their leg's dropping off. I really love doing these things live. Oh, oh. So there's their legs. I've put them at the edge so it's not balancing very well. I will have a little go at rejigging this afterwards. But look, there they are. There is our little character. But I have these two foil trays and I was thinking, let me lie it down. They would make some brilliant shoes for our little character. Silver shoes. Now, who would wear silver shoes and why would they wear silver shoes any ideas this is what i love about doing activities like this with children i'm gonna have to be using sellotape for that i can feel it oh look there we are look there's our gertie oh gertie i think it might be gertie linda but look here are the shoes there's one shoe and here is another shoe we'll make them pointy Ooh! 
Oh, it's falling over. I'm going to be sticking this together later and showing you a picture. But look, oh, it is. It's Gertie. There's Gertie with her silver shoes and her beautiful red hair. Look, it covers the back of her head so brilliantly. I wonder what Gertie and Polly might get up to together making friends online look at that look at them that's just beautiful isn't it that they're holding hands online and maybe you could make some little characters like this and make up some stories i can feel a story brewing in my brain as i do it but there is gertie and here is polly come on polly there's Polly. Now there's lots of songs about Polly. Let's have a look if there's more people in the chat. I can't see. Oh, morning, Ankita. Fruit netting, very underused resource. Absolutely true. Um, yes. And you know, when you do this task, and I think it's a really good one, try and make a person with boxes that you've put in recycling today or this week. Don't go make, don't go looking, making boxes. Use what you've got. And that's how Gertie's appeared. Oh, Linda, I think it's going to be Gertie. Isn't that amazing? But here is Polly. And Polly, oh my gosh, I've always intended to curl her hair and we might do that again. But Funny Bunny knows some lovely songs about Polly. And um, so we're going to sing them now. It goes, Polly put the kettle on, Polly put the kettle on, Polly put the kettle on, we'll all have tea. Oh, Suki, take it off again, Suki, take it off again, Suki, take it off again, they've all gone away. That's a song that I used to sing when I was little, Polly put the kettle on. I'm sure there's more verses. Maybe that's Suki or Gertie. I don't know. We'll have to see who the friend is. But there's another song with Polly, and it's Miss Polly Had a Dolly. Do you remember? Miss Polly had a dolly who was sick, sick, sick. So she called for the doctor to come quick, quick, quick. The doctor came with her bag and her hat. And she knocked on the door with a rat-a-tat-tat. She looked at the dolly and she shook her head. She said, Miss Polly put her straight to bed. Though she came back to burn her with a pill, 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 pill. I'll be back in the morning with my pill, pill, pill. Oh my gosh, I'm forgetting the words. But well, that's another fantastic song, Miss Polly Had a Dolly. Now, in our Zoom sessions, all our Zoom sessions open up this week, we are going to be doing lots of songs about the body, like head, shoulders, knees and toes. What else are we doing? Open, shut them, the hokey cokey, put your left arm in, your left arm out. So many songs in our songbook, in your craft pack to do with the body maybe that's something we could do this week how many songs can you find in the songbook that involve the body we love doing action songs don't we well on monday at four o'clock there is going to be a song a little dance um session on zoom stream live on facebook and this is to do with the london network of parent and toddler groups now, in June, we have something called the London Prayer Marathon, where we pray for a different borough each day. And on June the 4th, we pray for Brent. Um, but February the 22nd is 100 days from February the 22nd to the 1st of June. So we always like to do something in February because it's a bit cold and dark and dismal. And we like to do something to just think about London toddler groups and toddlers and babies and families across London. And this Monday, we are going to do a dance to the Wiggle Song. Now, I've been trying to get the Wiggle Song into our Facebook Live, and we're going to finish with it. And I'm hoping 
that my phone is connected with Bluetooth to my Bluetooth. I had to run upstairs because my daughter had her phone connected to my Bluetooth. And when I put my speaker on, all I could hear was something else coming off and it was not the song that I wanted. So I'm just hoping, let me see. Let me see. Let's see if we're connected. Connected to Joanna's iPhone. Yeah, so it's connected to my iPhone. Connected to Rihanna's iPhone. Oh, it's connected to my other daughter's iPhone as well. Anyway, let's see if we can do this. Um, and I'm going to show you. And Polly and Funny Bunny and I are going to do this song. Hopefully, you'll be able to hear it. Let's see. Can you hear? Can you hear it? my gosh did you hear that music polly was rocking so much she rocked her head right off oh polly she's back together again she really enjoyed that but that was a bit scary poor old polly but do not worry her head is back on if you want to join us i'm going to post the sign up details in the link to this video it's also on our facebook page do feel to join in either on the Zoom, stream live on Facebook, or by watching the London Network <laughs> Facebook group. I'm out of breath now. That was really, really good fun. So this week, it's all about all shapes and making a little friend. So we've seen the gift of friendship through our junk modelling today. And yeah, hopefully, so you've signed, hopefully you've signed up for Zoom and you can join one of our sessions this week to, to reconnect with friends and have fun together. So 